I'm Elizabeth. I live in Folsom, which is right up near Sacramento. I go to Walnutwood High School and I take some UC Scout courses. I'm really looking at some good UC schools like UCLA, Berkeley, um, and also looking at like Cal Poly and Stanford. She left her original school because she couldn't take all the classes she wanted. She was so limited. She could only take six classes in a year. And here she could take as many as she can fit in. But she wanted to stay in her AP classes. Scout has given me the chance to take more of those courses while still maintaining like my uh, path towards going to those schools. You know, I've been a principal before and I've been in an education for over 20 years. A lot of times in the day of the life of a principal, um, you may have a group of students um, over here who uh, need to take um, a certain particular AP course, but you don't have uh, the staffing in place. That's where we come in. You travel up the state of California into Mendocino County into these little tiny little rural communities where they maybe have a half a dozen teachers in the school. They don't have advanced placement teachers. Those students don't get a chance. So you might have the brightest kid in the state of California sitting in a school like that and if they don't have access to high quality college preparation and advanced placement courses, they cannot even apply to the University of California. That's simply not fair. Curriculum actually begins with our curriculum development team. And that team um, is made up of myself, and also subject matter experts. And our subject matter experts are anywhere from California credentialed teacher to UC faculty. The long hours working with subject matter experts, going over back and forth scripts, rewriting things to make things short and concise for the online lessons. Because in the, in the online world, you're not stuck to an hour long lecture. You can present the same concept in bite-sized chunks. Um, that you can repeat actually over time for mastery learning. From there it moves on to our production teams and we have uh, videographers, producer directors, 2D and 3D animators who work on bringing these courses to life. So I meet with the subject matter experts, we go over a whole, whole bunch of ideas and we nail down the one idea that we want to go with. I work with them and I brainstorm with the marketing person as well. I start concepting my work. I send it over to a 3D package or a 2D package like Maya or Photoshop where I start concepting out the ideas, render it out, and then send it over to the video editor to finish the job. You know, when a teacher signs up for a Scout class, they have access to a whole bunch of additional resources, not just the core coursework itself. Tests, quizzes, midterms, projects, additional assessments, and what we tell them is you're welcome to use all of it, you're welcome to use none of it. If you need to modify in any way, go for it. We want to make these resources available to you because you know the needs of your students much better than we do. Our Scout office is actually an open collaborative. That means that we have whiteboards all around and we get a chance to talk with each other and speak with each other constantly. So when Aaron's working on a project that David's working on as well, they get a chance to turn around and actually talk to each other. If Kevin needs to ask a question, he can just yell across and I can answer it. So really working in this open collaborative space and having whiteboards where we can put everything on there that we're working on makes it really open and transparent. So working together really is one big team. I love the atmosphere and the collaboration. We have a very open um, and lively team, so it's continuously very lively and we work together very well. What I like about working with Scout is the opportunity to come up with wild ideas and that get the creative process going. If there's one thing Scout is afraid of, it's stagnation. Educators and teachers, parents, students can use these courses in, in multiple ways as their focus of learning or as a supplemental piece of, of learning. They can take it with them anywhere they go. They can, they can learn on their mobile devices. They can learn on their tablets. They can learn at home on their computer. I think it's such an amazing opportunity. I mean, when I first found out about it last year, I was kind of ecstatic to be taking courses because other times when you take courses online, there are hundreds of dollars to take like APG approved good AP, AP courses. But at UC Scout, like they're free if you're a public student um, in California. And it's just so nice to have a chance and not be restricted by what I can afford or what is available to me.